cashcats.biz. Have you ever heard of this website? It is an amazing find, uh, thanks to the zine that I got called cashcats.biz. Boom. This one came to me through the San Francisco Zine Fest. It was a zine trade. This is by a creator named Amy Wilboo, and it's done through the Bubble Sort Zine Project. And we're gonna get into the zine today. We're gonna read and review it right now. So welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about zines and DIY publishing. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rich. I publish a comic book zine anthology called Feral Comics. Here's a quick video on that. Feral Comics is the comic book zine anthology that I publish. This is filled with underground subversive comics by different cartoonists from all kinds of places. We are always looking for new contributors and do pay for contributions. Also new readership, $20 for one year subscription or three for an issue. Boom, cachecat.biz. And it talks about this website and kind of just thoughts and theories that this thing prompted. It's a very fun zine. Definitely enjoyed the read that I just had. It looks beautifully bound. It is a good read. It is a very approachable way to a lot of kind of abstract concepts about memory and kind of also one of the things that I liked that they did was they contrasted the human memory and the way it functions versus the computer uh, memory and storage of information. And it was fun to see how I think because our human mind can only understand things the way we've seen it work and function that a lot of the computer and the digital stuff kind of kind of reflects our actual human uh, memory systems. And so that was very interesting, but enough said, let's go ahead and peep the zine out right now. So here it is, Cache Cats dot biz. First of all, I love the minimalist approach to it. It is so beautifully done and well bounded. This is by Amy Wibowo. Introduction, Cache's Cat Biz is one of my favorite websites on the entire internet. That's a big claim, but if you've seen it, you'll understand. If you haven't seen it, you should go there right now. So let's do that real quick. It's hard to look at my cats after something like that because those other cats are out there getting money and these cats are over here just being lazy. And after that, this booklet is about 32 pages and it's broken up into five chapters. Chapter one, why memory is important. Chapter two, the history of memory. Chapter three, human memory. Chapter four, computer memory. And then the final notes. My favorite portion of this booklet is chapter two, the history of memory. I like the fact that it went from clay, clay tablets to a, a more organic kind of paper from the Egyptian times. I guess Egyptians created paper. And then it talks about how technology to record things becomes outdated. But one of the things that doesn't become outdated is at the same time, think about how long some physical books have survived. The oldest known paper-bound book ever found is 2,500 years old. And unlike DVD or Blu-ray players, you don't need a specific player to get information from a book. You just open it. Damn, shots fired. I hella agree with that point and definitely enjoyed it. So the final notes read, There's still so much more to learn about this topic if you found it interesting. New discoveries are constantly being made about how human memories work which you can read about in scientific magazines like Nature or Scientific American, which is something I read sometimes. And if you found learning about computer memory interesting, there are so many more topics in addition to the one in the zine. You can read up on different types of caches, such as associative caches and direct map caches. And if you are ever in Mountain View, California, there is a fascinating museum of computer history that will show you how computer storage has changed over time. There's acknowledgments here for the people that helped put the zine together. And then this is all the Patreon supporters that helped this uh, project be funded. One of the other fun uh, facts about this was that it was written in a cat cafe. I thought that was hella fun and interesting as well. And it's, uh, it says it right here, Bubble Sword Zines issue August 
2015, printed locally in San Francisco, California. Amy Wilbur bubble sort zines. This zine was written from a cat cafe. So definitely a fun read. If you guys get the chance, I will put a link in the show notes for this creator and uh, and any information that I have on bubble sort zines or Amy will be in the show notes so you guys can connect because it looks like this is a long going series and it really is fun. And I think that she probably goes from topic to topic and the way she writes makes you feel very welcome to the topic at hand and the topics once again me just reading this one zine but this topic seemed like had it been in anyone else's hands it would have seemed very hard to understand it would have felt like i was excluded from that discussion and conversation and it feels like i wouldn't have retained much of the information but the way amy writes definitely made me feel welcome to the conversation and it made me feel as though i was grasping what was being discussed because of the examples that she used, it was easy for me to relate that to my actual life. And so I would love to see what other topics Amy has and to see, you know, try to find a topic that I feel like I know nothing about and have no understanding of it whatsoever and see whether or not Amy's writing can really pull me through that information in a way that I feel like I've grasped a lot of it. So kudos to Amy, kudos to Bubble Sword Zine. Definitely dig the zine. Once again, the way this is made, just looks beautiful to all the patreons that support this good on you guys man this is such a beautiful minimalist kind of approach to zine making so beyond that you guys thank you so much for watching please like share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time lates